Constructing your life is about much more than just building a bank account. Each week, join real estate entrepreneur and mindset coach Austin Linney as he interviews guests who are constructing their dream lives and impacting the world around them on a daily basis. If you're an entrepreneur or wanting to start a business, or you just want to hear motivating stories of how others have overcome the odds, you are in the right place. And now for your host, Austin Linney. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to your Friday rant. This is Austin Lenny here with your walking Friday rant. The word that gets talked about all the time, I've probably done a couple episodes on it, but I want to share it again, is mindset. You know, they said you got you to have a proper mindset. You know, what is that? What does that mean? A lot of times in life, we allow the circumstances of, let's use it for example, the rain, right? The rain, it's raining outside, I can't go get my workout in. It's raining outside, I'm, I, I can't be in a good mood. You know, most of my life in my 20s, if it wasn't raining, I wasn't happy. I know it sounds crazy to think. I'm not raining, I choose to be upset. You know, why is that? And I think it's a, it's a this or that statement, right? It's an external discussion saying, you know, only when this thing is the way it is will I allow myself to operate from a space of being happy. Only when this happens, only when I get to that dollar amount, will I allow myself to relax. Only when I get to there will I tell myself I'm successful. And ultimately understanding that the difference between your subconscious mind and your reality is that it doesn't know the difference. It doesn't understand different and so everybody's waiting around to be inspired everybody's waiting around to feel good what the actual difference is between investing in that property asking that girl out taking the chance that you've always wanted to take it's not the knowledge of the thing it's the emotion of the thing you haven't had the emotion you haven't felt the accomplishment that's the difference and when you cultivate a mindset where I'm going to do it anyway I'm going to do it no matter what comes up I am going to turn over every stone then you're unstoppable there is a syndrome that I had a bunch in my early days And I call it the front runner syndrome. If the cards were perfect, if the sun was shining, if I was making money, if nobody questioned me, if nobody asked me hard questions, if I had enough sleep, if I ate the right food, then I would operate at my peak performance. How many of you only operate good when it's going great for you? And I realize the difference between where you want to go and where you are currently is being able to operate in a place where you do it no matter what. There are a million days I don't want to do the things I have, but I do it anyway because the mission's higher than me. And my default setting is to operate in my habits and my standards. You get what you tolerate. And ultimately understand that the difference between where you want to go and where you are currently feels like the Grand Canyon, but ultimately it's probably about two millimeters. Two millimeters is the difference between I see high achievers where they want to go and where they are currently. It's a small shift. It's a shift in somebody you're hanging out with. It's a shift in an action you're taking. It's a shift in a thought. But in our heads, we think it's this big, big Everest. Don't allow yourself to be dictated and operated from friends and family, the weather, the economy, the fucking news. Do you want your fucking dreams or not? Do you claim to actually want what it is that you wrote down on the sheet of paper? Do you? You know, some people come to me and they say, man, your content is really truthful. I said, no, no, no. My content, my content just doesn't waste time. 
there is an amazing life out there on the other side of all the BS that you're sharing yourself. All the crap. The greatest fucking shit I ever heard in my life. Don't believe your client's own bullshit. Well, I'm not going to believe yours either. You have an opportunity today to create a space where you can do whatever it is that you want. But it takes the opportunity to jump over that Grand Canyon that's really like a two millimeter shift. Hope everybody got some value from this and we'll see you next time. Thank you for listening to Construct Your Life with Austin Lenny. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to rate, review, subscribe, and pay it forward by sharing with a friend. Most importantly, take this opportunity to start constructing your life by taking immediate action on what you learned. For show notes, resources, and more information on one-on-one coaching with Austin, visit constructyourlifepodcast.com.